Hello, Samnaikum, and welcome to this week's principal update. Well, for the academic year 23 24, it's a wrap. We're really looking forward to meeting parents virtually on Monday, the 8th of July. If you do attend, please be sure to fill in the parent survey. And if you don't attend, please fill in the survey. It gives us feedback on every element of school life from a parent's point of view, and it really helps us to improve. As we go into the summer, we know that learning doesn't stop. You'll have your own plans and activities laid out for you and your family. We've also enclosed in this edition of the Principles Update some learning resources for the summer and also a new GAB Learning Summer Challenge. We've also enclosed some information in this week's Principal Update that will help you prepare for next academic year well ahead of time and help you hit the ground running come August. So let's take a moment to reminisce and celebrate the successes of this academic year. One of the big highlights that came through from the Dubai Schools Inspection Bureau was the recognition of attainment that is now coming to the forefront of our secondary school. As it grows and improves, so does the attainment of our students. Some highlights and some upward arrows were the changes in judgment. So for science, the achievement of our students in science went from good to very good. Likewise, the achievement of students in maths in the secondary school has moved from good to very good. Hand in hand with that is that the progress of the students in maths has moved from good to very good. So we can see that through the years of education at Al-Salam, our students are really thriving when they get to the secondary school. The second highlight was our strong sense of community. Throughout the week, we had lots of informal feedback and it became a highlight some remarks made by the inspectors were the relationships between students and adults were supportive and positive and they are conducive for the students' growth and learning. Quite unique to our school, the lead inspector mentioned that adult-to-adult -adult relationships are remarkably respectful and that adults within the school building serve as role models for the students of how adults can interact with each other. Additionally, our students have been commended for their well-developed sense of personal and social responsibility, along with a keen awareness and respect for Islamic values. That reflects on our emphasis on character education and moral development and signposts to us that we are delivering on our mission and vision as a school. In terms of curriculum and learning experiences, it was recognised that we've made significant strides in integrating progressive technologies to support project-based learning, um, and particularly in science, technology and mathematics. These innovative approaches are preparing our students for the future, and they're also enhancing the learning experiences. Lastly, and very importantly, it was recognised that we have developed and maintained high quality relationships between school leaders and parents. We all know by now that this is something that is extremely important for the success of the students who are always at the heart of everything that us adults do together. The inspection came in November, but what we've seen since then is a cascade of other achievements and accolades that the school has achieved. And I'd like to share them with you to just really celebrate the hard work of the students and staff and parents supporting these major accomplishments that again signpost that our school is going from good to great. Firstly, phonics. It's a foundation of reading. It's extremely important and we've done a lot of work to improve the standards of phonics within the school. In year one this year, 82% of our students achieved levels in phonics which challenged those in the UK and with UK native English speaking students. That's the result of years of high quality phonics teaching and learning within the school that starts in the foundation stage and rounds itself off in year one. It will continue in year two, but it's a significant achievement for us that 82% of our students are challenging UK nationals. Again, linked to literacy is the new group reading test. We often call that NGRT in our reports. 
And with a lot of work that's gone into reading, not just with the phonics, not just with the decoding, but with the comprehension, and actually the amount that our children are reading and the frequency of reading, we can see that in behaviours has increased significantly. And there's an outcome to that as well. So with the new group reading test, our students in the primary school, attainment has gone from weak to very good. That's significant, that's two huge jumps in changes. So a huge hats off to everybody involved in that. And actually in the secondary school, our students have gone from very good to outstanding, which is, it just doesn't get any better. So well done to everybody involved in that. Next up, and again linked to reading, but now we bring in some English skills, is the GL progress test in English. We often call that the GLPTE. Previously, attainment was good in the primary school, and now it's at very good. Again, in the secondary school, attainment was good, and now it's very good. In the GL progress test for maths, we've seen a raise in the achievement with students within the primary school. Previously, attainment was very good, and now it's outstanding. Well done. Now, moving away from the National Curriculum of England and into the Ministry of Education, Arabic and Islamic, we've seen some gains there also. For our native English speaking students, or Arabic A as we sometimes refer to them, we've seen improvements in attainment. In the primary school, attainment of our students has moved from acceptable to good. In turn, attainment in the secondary school for native Arabs has moved from acceptable to good. A huge hats off to everybody involved in that. Last but not least is the Islamic benchmarking test. In the school previously, attainment was acceptable in the primary school and has now moved to good. The same again in the secondary school, attainment in Islamic has moved from acceptable to good. It's really remarkable to see that attainment across the school, whether it be in the foundation stage, early reading, in the national curriculum or in the MOE, there's lots of signposts along the way that our students are growing and achievement is growing within the school. In the national curriculum or in the MOE, there's lots of signposts along the way that our students are growing and achievement is growing within the school. I'm exceptionally proud of all that we've achieved this academic year and all that we've achieved together over recent years. I'd like to take this opportunity personally to thank everybody for their support and for one last time, Masalama.